All right, let's just jump right in. We've got a story for you today that's, well, it's part horror movie, part tech manual, and 100% a lesson for anyone out there managing IT. It's a real cautionary tale, you know, about what happens when a totally routine migration goes completely off the rails. And this quote, man, it just perfectly sets the stage, doesn't it? We're not talking about some little server hiccup here. This is a high stakes, big deal operation where just one wrong move can literally bring a whole company to its knees. So yeah, keep that image in your head, diffusing a bomb, because that's what we're dealing with. So the scene is probably pretty familiar to a lot of you. You've got a company, they're modernizing, moving from VMware over to Proxmox, you know, trying to save some cash on licensing. They do all their backups, they run the restore on their domain controller, and poof, the virtual machine boots up. For just a second, it looks like a total success. But uh, that feeling doesn't last long, not at all. And right here, this is the exact moment that dream migration turns into an absolute nightmare. That feeling of success, yeah, that was just an illusion. The reality is about to come crashing down and it's going to hit hard. So the first sign that something is seriously wrong is, well, it's just baffling. The team goes to log in to their shiny new restore domain controller and nothing. They can't. Why? Because as far as the operating system is concerned, the network card just doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. Vanished. Poof. And this is what's so wild, how fast everything just falls apart. No Nick. Okay, that means no network. No network on a domain controller. Well, that means no DNS for the entire company. No DNS means nobody can log in. No systems can authenticate. And just like that, the entire business is locked out. We're not talking about one server being down here. This is like the keys to the entire kingdom just disappearing. So what's on earth just happened, right? To really get this, we've got to dig deeper. It's not just about a missing network card. We need to talk about what makes domain controllers so special, so unique, and why they absolutely hate anything that looks like time travel. Okay, so on the surface, the problem seems kind of simple, right? The VM was built for VMware's virtual hardware, but now it's in Proxmox, which uses different stuff like Vert.io. The old drivers, totally useless. It's like Windows woke up in a new body and had no clue how to talk to its own limbs, especially the network card. But here's the thing. That's just the symptom. It's not the real disease. And this, this is the disease. This is the bomb from the start of the story. You see, Active Directory has this thing called an update sequence number, a USN. It's basically a running count of every single change. Think of it like page numbers in a history book. Every time something changes, a new page gets added. Now, when you restore an old domain controller, you're basically bringing back an old version of that history book, with a bunch of pages missing. And when that old DC connects to the network, it shouts to all the other up-to-date DCs, hey, your books are wrong. My old version is the right one. And that, that can trigger something called a USN rollback, which can corrupt your entire active directory. We're talking catastrophic data-destroying failure. So this really lays it all out, the two paths you can take. The dangerous path, restoring, is like trying to resurrect a ghost. You're bringing back an old state that can just wreak havoc. The safe path rebuilding is totally different. It's like introducing a brand new clean system that just gets all the current info from the other controllers. One is a total gamble with disaster. The other is just the safe professional way to do things. Which brings us to the absolute core lesson of this whole story. This is that piece of wisdom, you know, passed down from all those gray bearded sysadmins who've already seen this disaster play out and have the scars to prove it. And it's this simple. It is so direct. Never restore domain controllers. Just rebuild them. This is not a suggestion, folks. It's a rule. A rule written in the scar tissue of some really bad outages. If you've got other healthy DCs, the right move is always, and I mean always, to build a new one from scratch and just let it sync up nice and clean. Okay, but here's the million dollar question, right? If the tech answer is so obvious, why doesn't everybody just do it? Why do people even try to restore? Well, the answer gets into the messy reality of things like business pressure and a little thing we call technical debt. See, in this company's case, rebuilding meant they'd have to go and manually update the DNS settings on dozens, maybe hundreds of old printers, scanners, all these legacy devices that were hard-coded to the old DC's IP address. That, that awful, tedious work, that's the technical debt they've been putting off for years. 
The restore seemed faster, sure, but it was a shortcut that led them straight off a cliff. So it's great to know the right way to do things, but what if you're already in the middle of the disaster? What do you do then? Let's take a look at the actual emergency plan, how this team managed to dig themselves out of this mess. Okay, here's the clever trick they used. They added a totally different, super basic virtual network card, an E1000. Think of it like a universal key or a basic flip phone. It's not fancy, but it just works because Windows already has the drivers for it baked right in. No install needed. That little trick let them finally log in, manually install the correct Virch.io drivers for Proxmox, and then carefully rebuild the original network settings. And that last step is so, so important. They had to test replication thoroughly before even thinking about letting it talk to another domain controller. All right, so we've walked through the whole disaster and the emergency fix. But the real lesson here, it isn't about some specific driver or magic command. It's about a fundamental shift in how you think about these systems. So let's just nail down the key takeaways. First, a domain controller is not just another VM. It's the cornerstone of your entire identity infrastructure. Second, having a backup does not mean you have a safely restorable system. Those are two very different things. And finally, that tedious work of rebuilding, it's not extra work. It's the only work that prevents a potential career-ending outage. And really, it all boils down to this. You've got a choice to make. And when you really understand the stakes, it's not much of a choice at all. You can do the tedious, sometimes annoying, but absolutely correct work now, or you can risk a complete company-wide disaster later. When you put it that way, the path forward is pretty darn clear, isn't it? Pay down that technical debt, or believe me, it will come back to collect with some serious interest and always at the worst possible time. And that brings us to this final quote. It's dramatic, yeah, but it's also fittingly serious. We rebuild, or we die trying. It's a mantra, right? A commitment to doing things the right way, no matter how easy that shortcut looks. Because when you're talking about the very heart of your network, there is no middle ground. You do it right, or you risk absolutely everything.